Hi, friends. Well, we're doing all the last minute things that need to get done before we head north to Arizona for the winter. Um, I haven't had time to sit down and make a video, but just turn it on my camera every once in a while to chronicle my retired life here on the north shore of Lake Chapala in Ajijic, Mexico. Uh, potpourri. Enjoy. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Lakeside taco, chicken tacos, salsa, arrochera quesadilla, beautiful wife. <laughs> you gonna sing a song one of these days for us, Lynn? I, 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 People keep asking for it all the time. But I've sung all the songs I know. Well, uh, but I have I new subscribers. Start over? I have new subscribers who've never heard you sing. Yeah? Well, yeah. Probably you don't want to do it in the restaurant, though, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I stuck my head in a little skunk's hole. And a little skunk said, well, bless my soul. Take it out. Take it out. Rainbow. Oh, I didn't take it out. And the little skunk said, If you don't take it out, you'll wish you were dead. Take it out. Take it out. Remove it. I removed it. Too late. Well, thank you. We yeah. all thank you. That was really neat. <laughs> this morning, I wrapped my hot water heater with Reflectix. Um, trying to save a little on gas. I picked these off of the tree. We're going over to a friend's house for dinner, and I'm taking these along as a gift. Put your hand in there so we can see how big they are. Wow, that one's huge, isn't it? Look at that. I can't even hold it, except for my fingernails. Oh, I'm getting my dog content today. This is Lucas. Uh, his, Lucas is a singer. Yeah, oh, we don't want to get him to... And this is Gustavo Monteo Rosas, our friend for many, many, many years. Used to be our doctor, but now just our friend. Huh? Now a brujo. I don't understand that. Uh, brujo, brujo. Brujo? Brujo is like, in English is the, I don't know the translation. Okay, well, we'll look it up later. <laughs> brujo. Blue. It's like hechicero, brujo. Anyway, I wanted to get a picture of the three of us for old time's sake. There we are. Lynn, Gustavo, Jerry. He put his head up. <laughs> Lynn, stand up straight. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Okay. Got some new stuff planted in my boat. Some flowers. Basil. Oregano. That's rosemary. And down in here, I planted a whole bunch of cilantro. Those flowers are beautiful. And I planted mint over here. I plant mint, uh, I don't plant mint in my boat because mint takes over everything. Lynn's zinnias. Butterfly's been working on these today. Lynn got a pedicure and a haircut and a permanent today. Let's go see how she looks. Oh, let's look at the pedicure first. The 
some pretty toes. Are we ready for this? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Big smile. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. Tip your head back a little. There you go. You are my destiny. Very cute. You know, when we were on uh, the boat, back in our boating days. Yeah. You used to do this occasionally, not quite that short, but occasionally you'd get it would, about that short and you called it. I would do it in April. April, when, because we were boating all summer. Yeah. And we called it a bridge bob. That's right. Because when we're on the bridge, your long hair didn't fly in my face. Right. <laughs> How much did you pay for this? A uh, pedicure plus a haircut and a permanent today in Mexico. Eleven thousand. Huh? Eleven thousand. Oh my God. One hundred pesos. I think you mean one thousand one hundred or eleven hundred pesos. Eleven hundred pesos. Yeah. So we're going on a trip. Are you ready to go to our RV life? Not quite. Not quite. Are you going to be Are you going to be ready next week? Yes. <laughs> okay. Of course. <laughs> I was looking for that boating picture, and I came across this one. That's our old thirty-three foot south wind that we drove back and forth from Oregon to Mexico for three years before we bought a house here. And this is the 40-foot Monaco diesel pusher with a Jeep behind it that's waiting for us in Arizona. <laughs> ah, it's been an um, interesting summer here. Kind of a disappointing monsoon season, rainy season. Well, it made up for it a couple of nights and we'll see what Google says about it tonight. Yeah, but well, a couple of nights, yeah, but big, huge, dramatic thunder and lightning thunder storms and, lightning. and enough rain to run the pool over, but disappointing overall. A couple of yes. nights, we, we wanted a couple of months. Yes. Which is why we come south in the summer. Well, the coolness. Well, the coolness, because we're, we're, we're up in the that mountains. And was cool. Can I slap that fly on your knee? I'd rather you slapped it on you. No, I'm going to get it. You ready? Yeah. Ouch. Oh, damn, that was really hard. Huh? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lost all my sore legs. Oh, my gosh. Why is your leg sore? I don't know. Oh, from being hot and stuff? Mm -hmm. Want to go fishing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. South in the summer because it's cool up here in Ajik, Mexico. But then why do we go north in the winter? Because it's too cold here. <laughs> That's not true. It's warmer here than it is where we go in Arizona. We go because in the RV, which we love being in our RV life, uh -huh. It's much uh, better to heat an RV than it is to cool an RV. And we have a fantastic diesel furnace in our RV. The air conditioners are always a little... Of course, you wouldn't want to be in Arizona at 120 degrees trying to air condition an RV. That'd be... <laughs> are you enjoying your new haircut? I'm just... <laughs> you're just grinning. I'm just being. You're, you're just grinning from ear to ear. Just being. That reminds me of... Being. That reminds me of Henry David Thoreau, Walden Pond. Sometimes, as I lie here floating in Walden Pond, I cease to live and begin to be. It's one of my favorite quotes. I know it. Yeah. I've heard it before. Of course you have. In Many times. In 49 plus three years? Yeah. Yeah? Well, anyway, we're taking off for 
Arizona to go to the motorhome in another week or 10 days. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing Peter, our son. Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, he's got some projects lined up for me. I think we're going to build a greenhouse. Maybe another building. Yeah. I probably uh, should have done a little more exercising this summer to stay in shape. <laughs> anyway, you know, everybody's always saying, hey, more Lynn, more Lynn. Where's Lynn? There you go. There, there's your Lynn. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.